How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be having another pack battle. This shiny treasure EX booster box versus 10 Paldean Fates booster packs. I think it's actually going to be pretty interesting but without further ado, let me just get the packs out of this shiny treasure EX box and then we'll get a move on. It's actually two battles, if I can, well might need to sharpen my knife, that was really difficult. Uh, this is actually the second battle in a row that I do. You know, last week was the, the really big one with the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection versus the 151 Ultra Premium Collection. And that was really fun. Even though I didn't pull that many cards, it was still really, really fun to do. And just in general, I do love these pack battles. And this one is going to be interesting. This was actually on the poll I had a while back. You know, I had a poll of what what video to upload on on my birthday and the Charizard versus the Mew or the 151 Ultra Premium co Collection won by a landslide. That won by a landslide but this one was actually an option that some people voted. Can't seem to rip this open. There we go. Uh, this was an option that some people voted so I thought why not do it? It sounds like fun. I mean that's probably why I put it up as a poll in the first place right? Because it sounded fun. And opening Shiny Treasure EX is always a lot of fun. Here we have our first double rare. The Alakazam, very nice. And just a bunch of comments at the end there. So this is actually going to be pretty interesting because for the most part, it all depends on which side will pull a special illustration rare or special art rare in the case of the Japanese side. Haven't pulled a special art rare, special illustration rare from Paldean Fates. It's the only Scarlet and Violet set where I haven't pulled that yet. Every other Scarlet and Violet set that I've opened so far, I've pulled at least one. And this is like the only, the only set I still need one. So I'm, I'm hoping to get at least one on this side. Um, wouldn't be, wouldn't be too mad about getting one on both sides, but Paldean Fates notorious for having horrible pull rates, even worse than Pokemon 151, and Pokemon 151 was horrible. Um, why do I think this is a good matchup? Because for the most part, you are promised um, your three shiny rares in Shiny Treasure EX, like the baby shinies, and you're also promised one super rare. But I do have to admit, the shiny rares and the... here we go, there's the first one, that's a good one, that's a really, really cute one, a Natu. But for the most part, the Pachi Risu looks cool. For the most part, they are completely worthless, unfortunately. Especially the shiny rares. Okay, sorry about that. I had to fix something real quick. But yeah, as I was saying, mostly these these shiny rares and shiny ultra rares for that matter, or shiny super rares, I think they're actually called. Um, they're actually, for the most part, very, very cheap. I think there's only a few outliers there with the Charizard in Japanese for now. Um, the Charizard, which is like 6 euros, and then I can't think of anything else. Oh, the Mew! The Mew is probably like 5 euros or something, but that's about it. Most of the shiny, um, ultra rares, here we have one, or shiny rare, on the Paldean Fates side, are gonna be very, very low value. You know, I I did open some, um, Shiny Treasure EX in a Discord server with a couple of friends, and I did manage to pull, well, I did pull the Squawkabilly, and... Um, before that, previously I pulled the Mouse Grada, and I think both cards, the Squawkabilly was like 50 cents or something, which is crazy, and then the Mouse Grada was like, um, I don't know, one, one euro, two euros, it was ridiculously cheap, and as I said, it all depends on if, if we can pull a special illustration where on either side, even these normal EX cards are essentially bulk in Shiny Treasure EX, I did luckily though, I did luckily though pull um, the Blue Mew, you know, the card that I was really after, of course, from either set, you know, from both sets, wouldn't have minded to pull that in English as well, but at least I pulled it in Japanese and it's such a cool card, I really wasn't expecting that at all. If you haven't seen the shorts video, I highly recommend you go watch it. It was so surprising because I wasn't expecting anything. Well, that is a coincidence and a half. Um. We pulled a Natu in Japanese and in English. That is... I've never had that happen before. Well, there we go. There we go. We pulled both the Natus. One in English, one in Japanese. I think the English one might be worth more. 
Although I'm not sure, it's kind of odd with, with the prices. They're mostly the same, but some cards are a little bit more expensive, like the Mimiku Shiny Rare. I think that one in Japanese is like 5 euros, whereas in, in English it's like 7. So very minor differences. I think the Shiny Rares we should look out for are the Charmander and the Pikachu, especially for Japanese. Well, here is our Shiny Rare, a Fortress. Let's see if there's anything else in this box. You know, I did pull the Mew from a pack that I didn't think was going to have anything else. But you never know. Maybe there is still a Super Rare in here. That is our Shiny Rare pool. I'm pretty sure this is really, really cheap. So honestly, I'm pretty sure Paldean Fates is going to win this one. Not going to lie. I'm pretty sure Paldean Fates is going to win this. Unless we pull a really cool Super Rare on the Japanese side. But other than that, in, in, just in terms of quality pulls, if you will, you don't get that many on Paldean Fates' side. But the ones you do get are going to be worth more than the, the shiny old... Well, here is a Nemona. That's actually an Ultra Rare. Unfortunately, this is also bulk. I can't believe it. This is like a 50 cent card or something. Ridiculously cheap. Still an awesome pull. Already have the Nemona, though. Wouldn't mind to pull the um, the special illustration rare of that Nemona because that one looks really, really cool. But here we are. Nemona nonetheless, right? As I said, the pulls... Well, I did say the pulls are going to be worth more, but not for this one. Not for the Nemona, as I said. 50 cents for that one. Ridiculous, really, ridiculously cheap. Mimikyu. Let's see. Do we have something? We have a Wigglytuff EX. We should still get two more baby shinies promised on the Japanese side. And, well, obviously on the English side there's nothing promised. Let me actually... All right. Let's continue with the opening. As I said in, in so many other episodes, I do love these pack battles. I really, really do. They're like some of my favorite videos, besides the mail days, of course. And can't forget the cheap cart, cart videos. I do love making those. I do love being able to show you some, some cards that don't cost you a kidney. Like the um, the Umbreon, the Moonbreon currently. That's a really expensive card. Neuvern EX, you see. Um, in here, it's not bulk. I don't know exactly how much this is in Paldean Fates, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little bit more than compared to, to Shiny Treasure EX. So this is going to be, once again, I don't know which side will win. This is going to be a surprising victory again, just like the Charizard vs. 151 you Ultra Premium Collection battle. It's going to be one heck of a surprise. I do really hope, though, we get one additional Super Rare in the Japanese box, though. I have something shiny here. That's just the, the um, double rare. Hey, but it fits. It fits with the shiny pull that we've gotten. So there we go. It fits with the shiny pull. Oh, I completely for well, I completely missed this one. We pulled the the evolution of the Sprigatito, which I've completely forgotten the name of. Completely forgotten the name of. Isn't it like something Gato? Yeah, what's it get completely forgotten the name of? That's our second shiny rare. So there we go. Mustn't miss any pulls. Don't know why I completely missed that one. Might have lifted one card too many or something. But here we are. So we can still expect one more shiny rare in terms of like good pulls. I don't know if you want to put it like that. And maybe a super rare, but we'll see. Revert. Let's see what we can pull in Paldean Fates though. So far though, even though we haven't pulled a special illustration rare yet, I'm still pretty happy with the with the opening of Paldean Fates. Because even though no special illustration rare, a lot of pulls actually. Alright, I moved the pulls around a bit and here we have the Armor Rogue. Really like this card actually. It's really, really cool. Although I do prefer the Cerulech, but still really nice. I do actually think the shiny rares or the shiny baby Pokemon, if you want to call them that, do look way better in English because of that shiny silver border. W wait! I think this is a God Pack. Don't God Packs usually start with an illustration rare? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, it's a God Pack! Holy moly, are you serious? Yo, okay. 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 A bunch of shinies. I don't know what's gonna be at the end. Entei, that's a really good one. That's a really, really good one. 
Okay, the pre-evolution to ducks bun. Yo, okay. Okay, yo, the Charizard as well. The Guard of War. The Guard of War and the Meowskarada. Holy moly. I actually pulled a God Pack. I have never pulled a God Pack before from Shiny Treasure EX or any Japanese high class set. That is so cool. Okay, I think that puts the Japanese box ahead. Let me just try to, to do it like this. Well, I'm stunned by that pull. Look at the amount of pulls. Yo, okay. It wasn't a super rare hiding in that box. It was a freaking god pack. Where do I even put all of these? Okay, that god pack completely threw me off because look at the amount of pulls. I can't even show them anywhere with the pack still on the table. Jesus Christ. Okay. I have never pulled a god pack before, and that is super, super cool. Uh, well, that basically means that the Japanese side is going to win. Unless, though, here's the crazy thing. Unless we pull a special illustration rare on the Paldean Fates side. Dude, imagine, imagine I open a god pack and a freaking special illustration rare in the same video. That would be something. That'd be maybe a bit too much luck. But we shall see. Yo, okay. Okay, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Because before we opened the, the God Pack, I think we were still missing one shiny rare. And I don't know if we're still going to get one on this side then. Because we were still missing one, but we've pulled a God Pack. So I don't know if, if that completely disregards that. I guess we'll just see. We're just gonna take it slow and open these car uh, last remaining packs right here. Losing my voice. There we go. We still get, get some of these, of course. Let's put them over here. We're still getting a bunch of those. Man, okay. I still can't believe I pulled the God Pack. The God of War is really cool. I know the God of War is really cheap. I think that's like two euros or something. But I like God of War. I really, really do. It's like one of my favorite Gen 3, but well, it's one of my favorites. Not my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. There is like so many other ones that I like more, like the Flygon, for example, or Rayquaza. But the God of War is pretty high, though. Scrafty, Curlia, illustrated by Cavayo, very lovely looking. McMortar, and a Reverum. Okay, well, we pulled the God Pack, but unfortunately, Paldean Fates is being, well, Paldean Fates. And it's making it difficult with the pull rates. Okay, well, um, I think I might have grabbed the right boxes to open in Discord then, because if I opened that one in Discord, oh, that would have been something though. That would have been something. But I do, I do like that I did get to open it like on proper camera. You know, the previous. Oh, there we go. There's our our last promised shiny rare because you're promised three, so we get an additional one. Right here. I guess I'll just put you right here. I don't know where else to put you. Or maybe... Yeah, I'll like, put you right there. Um, intruding on the Japanese side. Uh, or on the English side, sorry. On the English side there a little bit. Okay, that is crazy, though. We've gotten a God Pack, but still got the promised three shiny rares. That's actually insane. That is insane. That's the first God Pack I pulled. I said like three times now. I'm still so stunned. Man, I've opened Japanese sets for a pretty long time, ever since I started collecting. I think one of the first videos I ever uploaded on the channel was actually a Japanese booster box opening. So, I did kind of open them for somewhat. Well, basically, when I did get back into collecting, never pulled a god pack. I've opened so much VMAX Climax, so much V Star Universe! Paldean Student, got a little bit too excited over the Paldean Student. It is a pull nonetheless that goes together on the Nimona side. There we go. Got a little bit too excited over the Paldean student. We have one last pack. I don't think there's going to be anything else in here other than, you know, a standard double rare. But maybe we can be surprised. Dude. That was an amazing opening, I can already tell. Still have two packs left. Actually, let me do the card trick for the last one. So we're going to do three to the front. There we go. And I'm going to flip it around. That's a really cute illustration. Nice, okay. 
Well, let's see, Vault Orb. That's not by Kavayo. Could have sworn that was by Kavayo, but no. We have our Hollow. Another Hollow. Here's our Reverse. And here is our Tentascruel. Is it Tentascruel or... No, it's Toadscruel, right? It's Toadscruel and Toadscruel. Keep mixing them up. But there we go. That is the Japanese side. So many ports on that side. It's insane. It's insane. We still have one Paldean Fates pack left, though. Still pa one Paldean Fates pack left, so we'll see what we can get in this one. Let's see. Maybe there is still special illustration. Now, that's the crazy thing, though. Let me just show off the, the energy. There you go. Or the code card. Sorry, not the energy. That is the energy. Yeah, there you go. That's the crazy part, though. If we were to pull a special illustration where I think the English site is gonna win. That's the crazy part. That is the crazy part, but I'm still super happy with the opening. Man, I got back. Well, there is the Doduo. We did manage to get one last pull, at least. But I don't think it's gonna be enough to defeat the Japanese side. I mean, just look at the pulls. Do I even have to put- I'll put the value down below anyways, but I'm pretty sure everyone is gonna pick this side. And you would be correct, because this is how much this side is worth, and this is how much this side is worth. Ridiculous, ridiculous opening. Well, but that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then by all means give it a thumbs down. Tell me in comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, right here there is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button, click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.